Welcome to a new episode of Civilization VI. Certainly a long time coming, but um, getting it up now. Actually, not going to get it up now because it's 12.30 in the morning. And um, why am I recording narration for this so late? So um, basically, uh, I guess the first thing I should explain is this is footage from like way back when. I don't even know when, but like probably a year ago at this point that uh, I just never got around to uh, uploading, which is kind of bad, but I mean, there's reasons um, for that, like, you know, uh, focusing on, the, on other stuff, uh, probably too much, you know, um, you know, times probably when I was sick of that interval, when I couldn't um, do anything, or uh, just being busy with work, those kinds of things, but I'm trying to get everything, basically my whole backlog of stuff I'm trying to get done, um, you know, and I have... Uh, basically a fair amount of Civ 6 and a fair amount of No Man's Sky, at least the No Man's Sky is more recent. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get my whole backlog done before I do a whole lot of new stuff. I did do um, a couple of video uh, videos for Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles, because I wanted to play it and I wanted to do videos for it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue on with that series right now. Uh, it's undecided because there's no screenshot mode which I, I would really like um, that to be implemented before I really uh, continue playing. Um, and apparently it is going to be implemented. You know, the, uh, the devs have some stuff that they want to get added, and um, that is one of them. So hopefully it'll be added soon, and uh, you know, and that way I can play with that enabled because you know it, it's it's such a i think such a great game you know for being able to take screenshots but there's no screenshot mode and, and that kind of you know but anyways they're working on it um and uh you know i would really like to see that in there uh before i keep playing um but anyways so i've been trying to probably sense about when whatever date the last couple of of no man's sky videos were uploaded since around then i've been trying to get a civ 6 video up and that's actually i'm trying to prioritize civ 6 over no man's guy since the civ 6 backlog is older um and uh i'm just looking at this it looks like jan january 10th is when the first of the um of the new No Man's Sky videos went up, um, so since around then, but just because I do, I have to do everything in, in Windows Movie Maker because I cannot find um, a better free software, which is pretty sad, and I realize, you know, you sort of get what you pay for free, but, um, you know, whatever, but uh, uh, anyways, the problem is Windows Movie Player or Movie Maker is terrible. And I don't know why, because Windows 10 does not have an actual movie maker. There is in the Photos app, the new story remix, I think it's called. I'm on the preview build, so I don't know if that is any of the actual um, regular, like I don't know, or how you say, it's, it's late, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What, what I mean is, like if you're not on preview, I guess, I don't know if, if, if you would have it. I assume so, I think by this point, yes, but... Um, I know I got it early anyways, um, basically, actually I'm just going to take a drink real quick. Basically, it's a very good for making slideshows, but for making actual movies, no, it's it's way too bare bones, which is too bad because I, I genuinely like it. If, it. if it actually lets you do anything with it, um, it would be perfect, but um, yeah, anyways, there's no, I don't know why they because there is no updated version of Windows Movie Maker. You actually have to download um, it from online, and it's, it's you know the old version. Um, and it's too bad that uh, there's no updated version on Windows, or that story uh, remix doesn't let you, but you, you you know do anything. But hopefully it will in the future. Hopefully it'll have more features in the future, and that'll make it um, actually useful. But um, you know Windows Movie Maker is, is sort of the best I can find for free because I don't have any money to. Uh, buy anything to, to pay for something that uh, you know would be uh, be a lot better so and, and you know the whole thing is that as I was trying to get the footage edited it kept glitching out 
and um, wouldn't let me uh, wouldn't let me do anything um, basically, and it, so it took forever to make it all work. And the editing of Civ 6 footage is sort of mind-numbing because it's literally just watching it for um, basically if I stepped away from the computer and there's a long pause to cut that out. That's literally all it is. Um, so it's a bit tease and mind-numbing, which I don't mind because it's like literally just like I'll, you know, like I'll just lift weights while I do it. I don't care. I only, I only have like 40 minutes of, of footage to, to get through anyways. Um, and part of the problem is, and part of the reason probably um, I was so slow to uh, upload all this is back when I recorded it, um, I was uh, I accidentally recorded my my narration as part of the video, so it was in the video audio um, instead of either that or I did it on purpose. I don't remember at this point, but the point is it was really quiet compared to the game audio, and since it was um, it, since it was part of the video audio and not a separate audio file, there's no way for me to turn it up or turn it down or anything. Um, so for that reason, I have to redo it. I have to re-record narration after the fact, uh, which is what I'm doing now, obviously. Um, why, why I still took so long to do that, I don't know. I guess because I put way too much focus on No Man's Sky instead of, you know, putting more even focus on doing this as well. But um, you know, I'm trying. To, I'm going to try to put more focus and just get this completely done. Then I can, uh, you know, record uh, new footage and whatnot. Um, yeah, and uh, especially because there's been some updates, um, you know, that should make the game a lot better. And uh, you know, free updates. I mean. Uh, there's also the Rise and Fall expansion that's coming out that's like $30 that I'm not going to buy because it's like $30 and some of the stuff is stuff that probably could have been added anyways. Um, basically some of the stuff they're adding that I think looks good, some of it I'm not too sure on. Um, or at least I'm not sure if I like the way it's being implemented, but uh, I mean it should be I guess a solid expansion anyways, but I'll probably wait, I'll probably wait uh, until all the expansion comes out and you can get them for a lot cheaper because um, you know I bought the game full price anyways and I feel like some of these stuff could have been included but uh, um, yeah I'll just I'll hold off but uh, it should be a solid expansion nonetheless for anyone who uh, wants to go ahead and, and buy it um, yeah this is terrible I actually have to work at 7 a.m. tomorrow till like 3 30 in the afternoon which isn't bad like I, I guess I prefer longer shifts anyways but since it's a new year I'm not getting a whole lot of shifts or the shifts I'm getting are really short like I'll get even like the first week of February I have literally three four hour shifts which is you know sort of terrible um, and um, it's like to me that's like almost not worth showing up you know I don't know why I couldn't have got like I don't know, um, like an eight-hour shift and like a six-hour shift or, or something like that would have been better. But um, the nice thing is at least I can pick up people's shifts. And um, I did that the other day and it was actually a very good shift. Like I actually was, I went in for a nine-hour shift and, um, you know, because they were only going to give me seven or eight hours. But I said, no, give me nine hours. If I'm going to show up and I have nine hours, you know, I want to make some money. I need to make some money basically because I'm poor um, but uh, you know I went in and it was actually a good shift like you know just everyone all the customers were incredibly happy with me and happy with the service I provided and I had lots of stuff to do it was lots of fun um, you know and, and just some of the stuff I uh, I was kind of all over the place like in terms of they had me in all kinds of different departments you know all kinds of different places in the store but I was trying to um, basically tidy up in foods. I was covering electronics when there was no one in there, um, you know, and uh, like I know I was in uh, the photo lab bit and I actually fixed the big printer because it was broke, well, because it broke itself basically. It wasn't actually broken, it just made itself think it was broken. Uh, so, but, but basically what happened was when, um, when people do there's uh, Walmart has the uh, prints in hours, which is like never takes hours. Um, but uh, um, actually, I'll just interrupt myself to say I had to um, declare war on her. I remember because of all the missionaries she was sending out. I, you know, and it's 
Yeah, that's too bad. You know, I, I think if you get far enough into maybe the civil tree, it would make sense. But uh, if you get far enough into one of the trees, you can uh, declare like a holy war or something where you're saying, like, I'm declaring war on you because of your religion. But in my case, I couldn't. So uh, we're just declaring war because we feel like it, I guess. But um, anyways, let me choose a one hour service where uh, instead of printing out at the kiosk where you do the photos, it sort of prints out behind the desk and then you can pick up your photos and it never takes an hour like except like during Christmas where everyone's doing photos because then it gets put in the queue but like if you're the, if you're the only one who does photos unless you do like 500 photos it typically doesn't take an hour like if you do like 10 photos it'll take like a minute um, you know to print out but the uh, when the pictures come out um, they uh, come out into a sorter and um, Basically, the uh, the machine was saying the sorter was full, even though it was empty. So I literally I grabbed an envelope, I put it in the sorter, I put it out, and that way it would know that it was empty, and that worked. So I faked up the machine and fixed it, which is pretty happy with. Um, there was actually it was it was kind of um, a little intense because there was a code white um, or whatever there was, which I think I forget what it is. I think it's violence though. I'm not sure, but anyways, there was. I heard that, and then a little bit later, when I was in the back, I saw paramedics coming down and with a stretcher. And I got out of the way, obviously, but I was like, Ooh. and there was um there was a, a missing child, but luckily that was resolved within like five seconds. But there was a missing child too that happened a bit later. This uh, child got lost, or so. I mean, not not a missing child, I guess, but um, a lost child which I guess is missing until they're not lost anymore, but anyways, the point is, you know, uh, those both happened in, you know, in maybe one shift, and I was like, it's a little worrying, but, um, yeah, um, <laughs> there is also, there is also this giant bear that was literally left in the aisle, and I, it was kind of funny, it was, it was on a pallet on top of whatever was stacked on the pallet, like it's butt out in the aisle and I picked it up and put it on my cart but the thing is my cart was full of was of uh, uh, cardboard boxes that I, I pulled off the shelves and um, and broken down and um, you know and so the only way to get in there was a live flat and it looked like it was on a stretcher too and I wheeled that thing into customer service which is where you bring all the stuff that's not in his proper department so it can get put in his proper department unless you're gonna put it in his proper department which you can sometimes do but you can't always do I brought it into customer service and um, I, uh, I just laid it down they're like what do you want me to do with this I just laid it down without saying anything and left all sort of nonchalant and uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, I also love that when you capture missionaries they just sort of disappear which I guess is equivalent to your units killing them which is awesome. And I was gonna say um, one of my sort of pet peeves about this game is the agendas which is like the greatest idea that was executed in the worst possible way like you know he hates you because your navy is weak it's like whatever that's that's fair but not really. Um, the other thing that happened, I'll just mention real quick, uh, during that shift, where there's this guy, and he was, he was a nice guy, but you could tell he probably had a temper, and he was, he wanted to buy a SIM card. Um, I could have sold him a SIM card, but not the SIM card he wanted, because uh, basically with phones, the Walmart I work, some of it I can sell, some of it has to be an actual third-party phone specialist guy um, has to do it. Um, anyways, and there's only one in, so, but uh, me and him were talking, like that is me and the customer, wanted the sim card medium we're talking but he was waiting on the guy and um you know it was a nice guy and we had a, a good conversation but uh he was getting a little annoyed with the guy because the guy had other customers lined up that he had to deal with first and um you know this guy was like you can't take two seconds to sell me the sim card but i guess there's like a process the phone guy has to go through and that's why he couldn't do it he has to like it's not just running through the till because even i said i said look like if you just if you just put in your your uh, cash codes you know, I, and, and, and I lock the SIM card for me, I can I, I can sell it to him, I don't mind. And he goes, no, I can't actually do that because, um, uh, you know, I have to go through this whole process. What that process is, I have no idea. But anyways, um, yeah, the guy was annoyed, but I had to go on one, or actually I think it was just 15, but either I had to go on a break um, 
you know, during the whole thing and uh, while the guy was still waiting. So the guy that came to cover me, you know, I just gave him a heads up. I said, look, you know, there's a guy in there and he's a nice guy. He's a nice enough guy, but he's a little bit aggravated. So just you know, sort of heads up. But uh, when I got back um, from my break or else, yeah, when I got back from my break, I saw them talking and, uh, you know, and, you know, nothing, you know, no one was coming to blows. They were talking. I think they were having a good conversation, too. So I, I think it all worked out OK. Um, basically, I took my break so late, I basically had to go home afterwards. So I think I literally just passed by and saw it on my way out but um, or something like that. But anyways, I think it all worked out in the end. And I talked to the phone guy about it afterwards and, and it seemed like it was all OK in the end. So. Uh, fair enough, um, but uh, you know, it's one of the things. It's just, I, I, you know, he said he needed the SIM card then, and he seemed pretty like, you know, maybe even a little sketchy, but just a little anxious to get it. So I don't know what sort of situation he was in, but um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, just one of those things. But it, you know, it, it's sort of like a lot of people who will get testy with other people won't get testy with me. I have this amazing ability to. I don't know, maybe, maybe people feel bad for me or something, but people who would get testy with other people, you know, or be rude to other people, aren't always as rude to me. You know, either they're completely nice or else they're a lot nicer, which is nice, I like that. I'm a, I'm a big fan of people being nice to me. You know, that's, uh, that's what it is. Um, oh, something I want to mention before uh, this video ends, and I'm not sure where I'm going to end it. I know I have like 40 minutes of footage. And I'm only going to do narration for, um, like, this is going to be two videos, so I'm only going to do narration right now for one video because it's late and I don't, I can't stay up that late to do both, so I'll probably end it around 20 minutes or so, something like that. But anyways, before I end this first one, I want to talk about the Nintendo Labo, or Labo, or whatever. I'm going to call it Labo because I assume that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's awesome. It's probably, like, the greatest thing ever. And if you don't know, it's, it's like... For your Nintendo Switch, it's like cardboard that you use with it, and it's incredible. It's, you know, so for example, you, you, you get the cardboard, and you make, like, a, a fishing rod, and then you can play fishing mini games using, uh, you know, the, um, uh, the, the fact that the, um, the, the Joy-Cons uh, are, are, are gyroscopic, that is, like, they, they, like, they know how they're being moved. And it's incredible. There's like a piano you can make and an entire freaking robot mech. Anyways, I guess it's more aimed towards kids. I think it's incredible. Here's the thing. I'm not going to buy it because I hate that Nintendo has invaded my physical space. You know, with Amiibos. Specifically. And Amiibos are something like, I, they're, they're fine, I guess. And they're such a great business decision on um, on, um, um, on, on Nintendo's part because, you know, I mean, you buy the game, then you buy the Amiibos for it, and you've pretty much just almost like doubled what people are spending. Um, but the thing I like about, you know, digital content is the fact that it doesn't take up physical space beyond the size of the hard drive, and Amiibos, like, just throw a wrench in that, and now all of a sudden I have to kind of find a place to put it, and I simply don't have room for the, all the Labo stuff to store it somewhere. I don't have any room for it right now. If I had room, then maybe I would. But also, the other thing is, like, you know, the price of it, which I think is fair, but if you think about, the, if you think about spending the money on, like, some mini games compared to uh, something like, you know, Breath of the Wild, which is a game I'd love to buy, you know, it just becomes a little bit, um, you know, like, I'm probably spending on Breath of the Wild, you know, which is similar, like, to me, like, with the game 1-2 one, uh, one, Switch. You know, it looks good, but A, I'm an antisocial loser, there's no one to play it with, because I refuse to make friends with people, <laughs> you know, because that's not my speed. Um, and, it, you know, I could have friends if I wanted, that's the thing. Like, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not, like, someone who is completely inept at, at this whole business of making friends. I just choose not to. Um, I just choose, you know they say you have to be a friend to make friends? I specifically act in an unfriendly way, and that's why I have no friends. Um, because I specifically decide not to be a friend, and not to be someone that people can make friends with. And when people try, I kind of shut them down a little bit. Anyways, um, 
that's part of the reason I won't buy one to switch but also because you know you, you just you know it's just mini games and I guess if I was gonna buy a game that was just mini games I'd buy Mario Party anyways which is uh, which is more than mini games like it's the bulk of his mini games but anyways you, you know just the price point like from that you know like there's other games I would prioritize above it um, but also you know because it, it takes up physical space I don't have any place to put it but if, if I had a place to put it and I had the money to spend on it I would totally buy it you know and the thing I was thinking too is if you remember how nightmarish all of the Wii paraphernalia accessories all that stuff was it was nightmarish like if you wanted to play a hockey game you needed to get the well, I mean it would probably I think it would probably come with the game but you, you had to use a hockey stick you know accessory if you wanted to play a gun game you had to use the gun accessory if you wanted to play a racing game you would get the steering wheel accessory and on and on and on right um, and the switch luckily doesn't have a lot of those and, and, and granted some of those options I gave were optional or else they didn't apply to every game and, and in that glass, like not every gun game had a gun accessory, but um, and you didn't have to use a steering wheel, it was like an option. But this is a much better way to to do that. Like instead of having you know something where you know you have this stupid you know hockey game hockey stick accessory, you know, this cardboard thing is so much better. It's I mean you know, and, and just the fact that you get to build it and, you know, it's it color it and, and, and you get to use your creativity and it just to me it's mind blowingly awesome and it's you know, it's 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 just the kind of thing we would expect from Nintendo because it's something we'd never expect and, and if we've learned anything it's with Nintendo to expect the unexpected. They do whatever they want. They don't care, they're rich. You know, like the Switch is like the best con selling console ever because it's the best console ever. Nintendo doesn't care. They're rich. They can do whatever they want. If they're gonna, you know, make a great, but perceptibly, uh, perceptual. Wow, I normally can say the word. Um, perception. Perce uh, if they're gonna make a great um, product that yet could be perceived to be risky by some people, they're gonna do it. And it's a great product. It's a great idea. We're gonna make a lot of money. You know, and it's a great. Um, it's a better way to do what those you know, we accessories did, it's a much better way to do that. And that robot mech is like, what? That looks incredible. That's amazing. Like, oh, it just looks so awesome. And, um, y you know, I would totally... Mm. Oh, my throat is awful. Um, sorry. Oh, I need to take a drink of water real quick. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm going to end the video pretty soon anyways, because like, I'm at the point where... My throat is so bad that I can't even finish words, and yeah, it's probably time to end the video, but um, yeah, that robot mech is so cool, and um, yeah, I mean, good on Nintendo for innovating, and, you know, it's, it's, I don't really know what to, uh, what to say, but it's, it's, it's awesome, I mean, it, you know, and, and Nintendo, they expect to sell a lot of Switches, and ideas like this, that's gonna help them, that's definitely gonna help and then you know the Mario tennis game is coming out and that's probably gonna be solid um, you know and uh, they got uh, the free DLC coming out for Odyssey which you know I'm not gonna talk about right now but um, you know they got uh, DLC coming out for the Rabbit's Kingdom game and uh, you know all kind of stuff happening and you know the online uh, services we're gonna see rolling out and um, yeah it's gonna be a very good year for Nintendo I'll tell you right now um, Anyways, yeah, but I guess I will end the video off there, so uh, if you liked it, then feel free to hit the like button, um, you know, and if you watched all or even part of it, then I thank you for doing that, and I'll just make the quick note, my analytics have, have been really awesome, not in general, but for me, they've been awesome, but they've probably been better than they've ever been for me, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's they've, they've gone up considerably from what they've, uh, would have been before and, and that was even during the period where I wasn't uploading videos they started to go up and now that I started uploading videos again that was like a, I think like a three two month period where I wasn't able to upload any videos because I was way too busy with work because I had too many shifts um, but anyways now that I am uploading videos again they've gone up even more so I, I don't know if that's gonna last forever they may go down again like it may get to the point where you know where my analytics just sort of completely drop 
but either way they're doing good now so uh, for all the people who you know are clicking on the videos and uh, you know giving them a chance uh, thank you for that um, but yeah I will end the video off there so uh, there's nothing left to say then uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever but uh, enjoy yourself